Hi there, welcome to Cord Cutters, the show that's all about getting rid of your expensive pay TV subscription and still watching all the TV you want. On today's episode, we're going to talk about the iTV One. It's this little device here that I've plugged into my USB port, and it's essentially a TV tuner for my computer. So it transforms my computer into a DVR. I can watch over the air television with it and do other fun stuff with it. This device retails for about $90, and it's compatible with both Macintosh and Windows. And let's take a look at all the nice features it has. So the iTV One is a tuner for your computer. What that means is that you can get over the air signals with a plain old antenna. And we talked about this before. You can use these antennas to connect them straight to your television. And then you can get HD television and a couple of SD channels as well. Well, in this case, I haven't hooked it up to my television, but to the iTV One, and then hooked that up to the computer. And just to make it really fun, I have hooked up the computer to the TV to get the signal in full screen. Now what this allows me to do is use the ITV one as a DVR. So I can pause live at any time. I can rewind stuff and I'm using, as if you're wondering, I'm using the Apple remote control right here. And I can use that to access an on-screen guide here. For example, I can change channels by simply going to a different channel and then see what's going on there. And since it's a DVR, I can, of course, also at any point in time record stuff. So if I want to go to a channel guide, let's uh, get this up here right now. Then you're going to see uh, I have a bunch of recordings scheduled here already. But if I want to record something later on tonight, let's say uh, the evening news, and let's go on there, I hit my record button, and then it's going to be recorded and it's going to show up in my library. And now you're going to ask yourself, what is this library? Well, it's basically like your TiVo uh, scheduled recordings. And if I go back here right now really quick, I can show you that I have uh, done some recordings over the last couple of days. And uh, let's go in this right now. And just to see how this looks like when you play it back, I'm going to open an episode of The Amazing Race that I have recorded last night. And hitting play and jumping right in here. And as you can see, if you look, especially on the big screen, it's actually a really good quality. It's pure HD. If, you can, if you're getting HD from your cable provider, they put a whole bunch of compression on there to kind of fit it through those pipes. Over the air, HD is uncompressed, so the signal is, the, the, the picture looks much better. Um, one downside of this is that uncompressed HD files are also very, very big. So just to give you an idea, the Amazing Race, it's about a one hour show. If you record this one episode, it's gonna be about seven gigabytes on your hard drive. So if you record a lot of stuff, if you record a couple of hours every day, you wanna have a lot of uh, hard drive space for this available. Another thing that you have to think about is processing HD takes quite a bit of uh, processing power. So you need, on the Mac side, you need a Core 2 Duo MacBook or MacBook Pro. And on the PC side, you also need quite an advanced processor. You should check the specs before you buy this product. If you have a TV, you have a subscription plan, so you pay between uh, $13 and $20 per month. This is essentially free, but with access to the um, programming guide, you need to pay $20 a year after the first year. So they give you one year for free, and then you have to pay $20 a year to get all these nice programming information delivered to your computer. So the things that I've demonstrated right now are just a few of those features that the ITV One and the ITV software have. There's a bunch of other fun stuff that you can do with this. They have an iPad application, so you can stream to your iPad. You can automatically export this stuff in different formats, and you can schedule recordings online, all kinds of fun stuff. Uh, and given the fact that this is only $90, it's actually a really good purchase if you want to have DVR functionality, if you have a good reception for over-the-air signals in your house, that's something definitely considering. There are a few downsides to this. If you're used to your cable DVR, if you're used to your TiVo Premiere or something like that, oftentimes you can record two things at the same time. Or you can record one show and at the same time you watch another show that's broadcasting live. This is a single tuner, as you can see, one antenna, one tuner. So you can only watch one show or record one show at a time. But of course, you can always at any point then go to your library and watch something that you have recorded before. Um, that's one of the few downsides of it. The other I mentioned before, they make you pay after a year. You pay $20, but it's a fairly cheap price. And given the fact that you get so much content for free for this, I can really recommend it to people who do watch live television or who want some DVR functionality after cutting the cord.